welcome back to my channel. I am finally at video number four of my four part series on our homeschool spaces. So these are just our homeschool room tours. These are the four most frequent places that we do homeschool in our home. I love them so much and this is the fourth video in this series and I'm finally getting to my baby girl's room. So I tried to have uh, similar elements to my boys rooms inside of my baby girl's room and I'll just show you some of the things the spaces that we use and how we use them to kind of reinforce what we're learning throughout the day. So just like my boys room, so many things inside of baby girl's room are a reminder of the love that surrounds us. Many of the things that are inside of her sweet little room came from our loving friends and family and we are so grateful. Her canopy bed was gifted to us from a church family member, as well as her dresser. The middle drawer of her dresser is stocked full of all of her books. Lots of board books and easy readers. We call it her own little library. When you give things names, it just makes them a little bit more fun for my kids. So why not? This dresser was also part of the gifted bedroom set. It was in perfect condition and all we did was change out the knobs, which was also gifted to us by another friend slash family. As of now, the little princess is the only one with a television in her room. We use it to watch educational programs and the occasional family movie night. Another one of my favorite parts of her room is this beautiful piece that was done by the lovely Vanessa Brantley Newton for My Little Butterfly. Across from her bed is her cork board. It's the same cork board that I have hanging in the boys room. I just painted it white to give it a slightly rustic look and make it more appropriate for her room. I love that I'm able to hang anything that I'd like to hang on her cork board. Most of the time it's sight words and other things that we're working on. Memorizing the incredible Jane Goodall. I absolutely love this photo. So I found these beautiful ballerina pictures as well as these super adorable little girl astronauts and I thought it was perfect to add to her wall for now. This little nook in the corner of her room, I have set out this cute little beach chair that was given by another family friend. And I thought it was the perfect spot for her to have a little reading nook. So we take whatever books we have and she has her own little story times with her stuffed animal friends. Because my baby girl's room is a little bit smaller, we decided not to do any chalkboard paint in her room. So instead, this little corner was the perfect spot to add the easel that I had already had and really didn't have any space for in the other rooms. So it ended up being perfect just moving it right into her room into this little corner and turning it around on the whiteboard side instead. It gives me space to write whatever I like to write on it for her to practice um, when she wakes up in the morning. A lot of times I write the alphabet for her to outline. I'll write her name. I will write her word, her sight word of the day, or the letter that she's working on. It's really a great addition to her room because I think it makes her feel like she's teaching school. <laughs> Whatever works. She loves it and I love it too. I hope you enjoyed this little series on our homeschool spaces and how we do school inside of our homeschool home. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in our next video. Bye.